Hello, everybody, and welcome to week eight of the Alliance of American Football. It's the six and one Orlando Apollos taking two and five Memphis on in the Liberty Bowl in Memphis. And this is what it's coming down to the final three weeks of the season. Orlando with a chance to earn home field advantage with a win. Memphis in a must win situation. I shall start as we get underway. And he goes to the air right away, swings it out and complete. And that is going for the first down. That's going to be a pickup of 12. Hauling it in is wide receiver Drew Morgan. Look at the third down conversion rate, 42%. And he's picked off. Garrett Gilbert, just his second interception of the season. Great field position for Memphis. What a play by Justin Martin, the corner out of Tennessee, steps right in front of the throw. Flag down on the play. Pass interference. Defense number 33. Again, on the play action, Gilbert deep down the middle of the field. Gilbert has a man. This time, Charles Johnson holds on. A 48-yard gain for the Apollo. Yeah, and once again, just look at the space in the pocket. If you're going to give the QB this kind of air, right, look at, look at Gilbert. He makes the play fake. Everything is in front of him. You get to step up. And that is that is just easy pickings. That's exactly what you want as a quarterback. You want the ability to step up in the pocket, have no one around you, and then nobody in center field either. So he came down in the red zone. Elliott Fry off of the 25-yard field goal attempt up and through. Return. Third and 12. Gilbert pressured, gets it off, and he is picked off. Balls on the ground, recovered by Memphis. Going to be interesting to see how this shakes out. They went zone and Jalen. That's Jonathan Cook recovering. Justin Martin had it for a moment, but did he possess it long enough? Interception with a fumble recovered by the defense, first and 10. I think he did, Dan, and you could hear Gilbert there at the very end say they went zone. And he was looking for Jalen to do a little something different. Well, what's different is he gets hit. <laughs> Look at the pocket. And yeah, you see the receiver there going behind the zone defender. But I would say to Garrett, and that's, again, a lot of congestion hey. with his presence. What Pretty done? good field position for Johnny Manziel. His first play of the game going to be a pass, and it is complete. Mercer! Second and eight for Manziel. Has a man up the left sideline. Touchdown, Memphis. Johnny Manziel complete to Dan Williams, who had the game-winning touchdown in overtime. A 31-yard score, but we do have a flag on the play. Pass interference. Offense, number 86. 10-yard penalty. We play. Second down. Wide 80! Wide shot! Here's Manziel throwing up first down. Picked off in the end zone. Tried to squeeze it in there. It's the veteran Will Hill. A 23-yard return from the 29-year-old free safety. Officials timeout for an injured player. And we have... Is that Manziel? I think it is. We have and you're going to see on the tackle, I think, is where he gets... Right to the head. Kick to the head. Wow. And Fry remains perfect. 14 for 14. Red 80. 0 for 3 on third down set. conversions. Third and 10 here. Silvers decides to keep it himself. Gets to the first down marker and down. Will Hill was there, but not before Silvers could pick it up. Nine first downs in the game so far for Memphis. Just five for Orlando. Red 80, set. This time complete and another first down for Memphis in the rest of the way. Silvers again complete, starting to find a rhythm, keeping his feet, picking up another first down for Memphis is Amir Carlisle. From 51 yards out, this is his first attempt from 50 yards or more this season. And that looks like it's going to sneak just inside the right upright, and it does to get Memphis on the board. So down conversions, third and 10 here. Gilbert picked off over the middle. Jonathan Cook 
trying to get inside the 30, and he's done before he's dragged out of bounds by Jordan McRae, 16-yard return. Is he wants his tight end to fight around that contact and get across the face of the safety, but that's simply too tight. I mean, that is a high, high-risk play. That's an excellent job by the strong safety jumper. of Austin McGinnis ties it up. And they keep it on the ground here on second and two. And gets through the line, keeps his feet, picks up an extra six yards. It's done again. Haven't converted on third down yet. Third and eight here. This one complete. Johnson able to hang on to it. And that is a chunk play. 23 yards for the Apollos. Fresh set of downs for Gilbert. Swings it over to Johnson on the right side. Johnson right just, at the I'm sticks. So Three yard line. Down! Green 10, green 10! Pitch out to Johnson. Johnson has a step and he walks into the end zone. Dearness Johnson with just his second touchdown of the season. 6% of the season. This time keeping it on the ground again. Powering his way into the end zone is Dearness Johnson. Second and 10 for Memphis. McGee bobbles it for a minute. Then Hauls it in, picks up the first down of the end zone. That one goes for 18 before it's in McGinnis. Kickers have been perfect so far and remain so. So still very much in this ball game. Memphis, a crucial, crucial game for them. They must win to keep their playoff hopes alive. A worst case green scenario, had you hit the running back, a six, seven yard gain. Now you're looking at third and 10. Again, has a man wide open. This time it's caught. And this time it'll be a touchdown. Dante Dye Jr., a 65-yard score after a couple of huge third down catches last week. He gets his Give second to touchdown of the season. That's beautiful, man. Not, not been your best day, a couple picks, but it doesn't deter you. This is, I think, the growth of Gilbert as much as anything. That's what this league can do for quarterbacks. And you just right by him. I mean, you're going to see James there, the beautiful coverage earlier on Charles Johnson. And that time he gets flat footed. Maybe on Smith in the backfield. And pitch out to the left, and they do indeed pick up the first down and then some down to the 30 yard line and the tall. He keeps it. Silver's down to the two yard line. Ready, sir. Keeping it on the ground, McGee head down and into the end zone for the Memphis touchdown. Ready, sir. This time they're going to throw wide open for the conversion. Oh, fourth down conversions. Pitch it out to the left. And they will not convert, giving the ball back to Memphis. Again, another complete pass. Have been unfazed as McGinnis until now. Why don't you got to do that? I jinxed him. What? Gilbert falls free on the ground. Memphis picks it up into the end zone. Memphis touchdown. Corey Crawford scoops and scores. Demarcus Gates with the hit. Covered by the defense. The result of the play is a touchdown. My goodness. <laughs> that response. I was say to you how much fortitude, and I love it. These two linebackers have been very active today. Gilbert trying to figure out which one is going to come, and he does not have his eyes on Gates. Both of those guys have been active blitzers today. Gates forced two fumbles a week ago, the defensive player of the week in the alliance. And he can do this, man. He, he can get downhill in hey, the board sir. here. Silver's off the mark, but Ready. it's going 12-yard line. Ready, set. McGee in the backfield, zips it over the middle. That one's complete. McGee squirts through the line, picks up 12. A screen pass, trying to cut back across the field. He has some work to do. Dan Williams taking a risk and it's paying dividends. Down to the 34-yard line, stays in bounds before finally being taken out. After 
Silvers looks to his left. That's where he goes. Caught in the end zone by Bird. It's a touchdown. Memphis is rolling. Bird on white again as they go for two. Little pump fake, then back to the left. Two-point conversion is good. Pressure off the edge, picked off by Memphis. Again, a costly interception. This is Terrell Bonds down to the 21-yard line. A 22-yard return. The third pick of the ball game for Garrett Gilbert. And remember, just one coming in to the game all season long. I think Spurrier may be asking here about how many rushers. Remember, only allowed to bring five, and you're going to see the pressure come off Garrett's blind side. I think that's his, his question there. There were four defenders to the one side of the field, and I think he is just curious here as Memphis gets home once again in a beautiful force. I think Mr. Gates getting on his way. <laughs> Yeah. Being defensive player of the week again. And we do, we do have a flag down. Called by the Sky Judge replay there you go. against number 34 defense. That's a 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down, Orlando. And a completion to Charles Johnson goes. Four rushers coming, almost got to Gilbert, but he gets it off. Sean Price. Was he pushed out of bounds or did he get there? He absolutely got there. Holding but offense, the number 74. 10 yard penalty, replay, first down. We're gonna go to the air. Pass complete, that's Marshall. And again, using that arm, has a man in the end zone, caught, Johnson, touchdown Apollo. And Johnson, where you want it? Matched up with Justin Martin into the starting lineup, has not had a great day. Right, you keep going after it, right? You're not gonna call a penalty on the right tackle, you're gonna keep doing it, trying to get that little half second, and you're gonna see at the top of your screen, this is just a simple go around, this is man to man coverage. It's the beauty of this league, man, you can't, you can't cover up. Green 10, green 10! Two-point conversion to go, looking at third and 12. Big play for Memphis. They bring five rushers, and the caught is made. It looked like somebody said a better clip than they do. Over 30 points. As the ball's through the hands of Winslow, he falls down. My goodness, what a critical error for Winslow in the special teams unit as Orlando is going to be in perfect position to take the lead. Wow. Gilbert is smacked, gets the pitch off to Johnson, breaks the tackle. Johnson puts his head down. He gets to the two-yard line after a pickup of 17. Are you crazy? I don't know if they got that off. I don't think they did. Unsportsmanlike conduct by the Memphis head coach for entering the field during the live ball. Wow. There's another one. That bench has lost its mind because Singletary thought like I did that was a delay a game. By the Memphis head coach will be enforced happiness instead of goal. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, Memphis assistant will also be enforced. Not been snapped. Usually you get the benefit of the doubt. You get a half second from the official looking at it and looking at the snap and looking at the play clock. But Singletary's lost his mind. Wow. Yeah, he's ready to go make that tackle. Uh, he Keeping it on the ground, into the end zone, and Smith in for the score. It looks like, I don't know if they're gonna call him down yet. We don't have a touchdown signal. After further review, the ball carrier was not down by rule when he broke the play into the goal. It is a touchdown. And inside handoff, head down as he is fighting for that two point conversion. <laughs> You think that uh, Memphis defense wanted to keep Davion Smith out of the end zone? 
We have uh, flags down. 13 for Orlando. It's I think we're going to see another one. Looked like a horse collar tackle to oh, me. And there's another one. And there we go. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> for time. Ready, set. He's pressured. Kind of flips it away, and it's picked off. Oh, oh kind. Snags the ball right out of the air, and that could be game, set, match. Trying to make something happen as Andrew Ankra was coming in with the pressure. And it's the other linebacker, Rokine. Those two guys have been making plays on the outside all season long. Just winners find a way to win in the end. And you can see by the sky cam, it is soaked. It is drenched. You're trying to step up. What a tremendous rush there. As you point out the two difference makers. It's Ankrow with the rush. Green 10, green 10. Set it up. Wow. 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 Oh. Wow, the excitement from Gilbert. That's inexcusable. And that's inexcusable defense. The foul was by the defense, and by rule, we would reset the play clock to 35 seconds and start on the ready for play. And by rule, time would expire. The ball game is over. Wow. And that's it. Orlando improves to 7-1 and one on the season in a back-and-forth affair that saw Memphis with chances to keep their playoff hopes alive. Rock Hewart, you suck, nigga. You're trash. the rest of our crew, I'm Dan Helley. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a great rest of your weekend.